Careful of water, by the way, if you're too near the front. I apologize in advance. Um, bigger momentum change when water comes out. Why is that? The water's not coming out as fast. Which one has the bigger mass? The water is about a thousand times denser than the air. About a thousand times. So even though the speed is 30 times higher, if the water is a thousand times denser, then the momentum change of the water is about 30 times bigger. The air blows the the air momentum change causes the rocket to go about this high and the water causes it to go higher. I wasn't paying attention to how high. A lot higher. Bigger momentum change by the other object gives you a bigger momentum change by the rocket. So bigger momentum change by the, by the water gives you a bigger momentum change by the rocket. That is why they make water rockets and it's not just because it's fun in the summer to have water because it's hot, but also because water ro the water shooting out shoots out faster. And it makes the rocket go farther. It doesn't shoot out faster. It shoots out with bigger momentum. Any questions about that one? Yeah. So why do we think about the mass of the, um, the water in the air instead of the, the mass of the rocket itself? Because the mass of the rocket is the same in either case. So the momentum change of the rocket is going to be opposite to the momentum change of the Sorry, the rocket has no initial momentum. <laughs> so does the fuel. The rocket has a final momentum upward. The fuel has a final momentum downward. So this final momentum of the rocket upward tells you that it has a final velocity upward. But what if the fuel had a much bigger mass so its final momentum, because its mass is so big, the final momentum downward is big. Then the final momentum of the rocket would be similarly big. And the rocket's mass, uh, while the rocket's mass is important, it didn't change in the two situations. So the reason the momentum of the rocket got big is because it had a big velocity all of a sudden. It was given a big velocity. It's got a high speed because the water had a high mass. Any other questions? Yeah? Does it have to do with that the water is incompressible and so it takes up space and then the air gets to a higher pressure inside? Not really. I tried to put in so little that the pressure difference is, is only a few percent. I put in so little water. So it isn't that the water is not compressible. It's that there are so many water molecules shooting, it's, it's denser. A thousand times denser means there's a thousand times more water molecules shooting out than air, than there was just air mo mo molecules shooting out. So you, you throw a bunch more stuff outside the, the rocket when there's water coming out than when there's air coming out. I mean, in terms of volume, it might be the same. Air comes out, the same amount of water comes out in terms of volume, but the, vo the water has a thousand times more molecules streaming out. So to get a thousand times more, more stuff to go that way means that, uh, means that the momentum change in the other direction is, um, is bigger. As I said, the speed has to be factored in there, and I just gave you a quick estimate that the air is in fact moving faster than the water, but not enough to make up for the mass difference. Any other questions? Um, 
So for the next two questions, three cars, they're both, they're all three Mustang convertibles with the tops down and no windshields. So you might think that unwise, but this is the way it is in this story. They're each moving at 36 kilometers per hour as they crash into three large unyielding steel posts. In each case, the front of the car collapses by one meter as the car stops. So that's what cars do. Cars get crunched. They're designed so that the time it takes you to stop is the time it takes the car to get crunched. And, and that whole point there is to give you a lot of time to stop. Why would you want a lot of time to stop? Delta T, you would want to be big so that the force didn't, didn't have to be. In each case, the front car, the front of the car collapsed, blah, blah. Driver one wears a seat belt, has an airbag that inflates, holds him in the car. Driver two does not have an airbag or seat belt, and so is, is ejected from the car straight into the post. Driver three does not have an airbag or seat belt, so she's ejected from the car. She misses the post, got lucky, comes to a stop after rolling on the ground for a few seconds. All three drivers have the same mass. So they started out at the same speed, they have the same mass. My question for you, which driver had the largest change in momentum? 